Marcus Freeman continues to boast about the depth of their roster, which is encouraging because when you look at the schedule and I know people and naysayers will look at Notre Dame's schedule and say, Oh, that's not that. I think Notre Dame's schedule is a gauntlet. I think it's a really tough schedule. It's a very, very difficult schedule. It's a diverse schedule. You see a lot of different offenses. You have to travel to different places. It's always that way, including a trip by the way, in just a couple of weeks to, to Dublin. So they're all over the place, but they have really grown in many ways. As far as their depth is concerned. Now they can go six deep at linebacker. That's massive. They, we know who the starters are, but now they can go and feel good about taking those starters out every once in a while to spell them, put the backups in, you won't miss a beat. You can go eight to 10 deep along the defensive line. That's really, really encouraging because that was not necessarily the case over the last couple of years. You take the starters out, man, there's a big drop off between the ones and the twos. Now they have the depth to be able to handle that. One position that has been a major headache, and I don't know as of right now if, if it's been solidified yet. I don't know as of right now if the wide receiver room is up to par. I'm not going to say that. I, I can't tell you right now if I feel like Notre Dame's wide receiver group collectively has taken a step. But I can tell you they have more guys that are capable of contributing. That's, that's all I'll say about that. I, is it still going to be a liability? Perhaps. Will it be come week four? Maybe. But at least they feel now, and this is according to their wide receiver coach, so take Chancey Stuckey's words, however you want to interpret them, go ahead. They used to be able to go one and a half deep at wide receiver, meaning basically you had four or five guys that you could trust. Now they think they can go two and a half deep. Now, getting elite level play, still a big question mark. But at least they know they have enough guys to be able to run out there and man... Please go get this guy's not playing well. You go in. That guy's not playing well. You go in. That guy's not playing well. You go in. They're not stuck because now they have the depth to be able to substitute guys if a guy is not doing what he needs to do to play high caliber football. And that is a step in the right direction. Now, hopefully, guys will emerge, but we'll evaluate that as they move forward. Let's talk a little bit about the offensive line because this is the one position group that has perennially been among the best in college football. We know they're great at tackle, we know that. At guard right now, if you listen to Marcus Freeman, he says, we have three good guards. That's okay. That's, that's, that's fine. Would love to have four in a perfect world. Would love to have more than that even. But frankly, they have three right now, which to me, interpretation, slightly thin on the interior of the offensive line. Here's where it gets even more difficult. Center, they have one. So of the three spots right now on the interior of the offensive line, we know they're great at tackle. We know that. That's established. The three spots on the interior of the offensive line, you feel really good about four guys. That's not enough. They need more guys to emerge. And I know Kristoffic started a bunch of games last year. He needs to step up. He needs to continue to play better. You look at just the depth of that position. For three spots to have four guys is not enough. If I can get to five, if I can get to six, I feel a whole heck of a lot better about it. But as of right now, at that position, knowing you're likely going to have attrition at some point or another, would love to see a little bit more depth there on the interior of the offensive line. But hey, we're holding Notre Dame's offensive line to a pretty high standard, right? We, we know that that's a significant, significant strength and has been for quite a while.